Oh, shit. Dave, you have to get this. I owe Larry David money, and I can't let him see me buying lunch. How much do you owe him? 13000 <laughs> Why don't you just blow him? You sexist jackass. I'd never suggest you pay someone back by blowing him. I'd blow my landlord for rent. Hell, I'd give him a reach around for cable. <laughs> what? Laura! Hey! Do you hear you're in a restaurant? Look at this, you're out here, you're having lunch. Boy, you, things must be pretty good. Oh, I wash dishes here. I'm on my break. Okay. Hey, I'm having lunch with Larry Flint. Let me ask you something. What, what's the protocol here? Do I let him roll all the way to me, or do, do I meet him halfway? What's, what's the deal? Well, you're both going to end up here. Should I tell him you need a little work? Uh, no, I'll find something. <laughs> First of all, don't take jobs you don't want for my sake. Okay. It's like if somebody owes you something, you never know what the etiquette is. Do you mention it? Do you, do you not mention it? Mm -hmm. is, is, is there an elephant in the room? You know, elephant pointing, sometimes it's good and sometimes it's not good. Right. So... You don't think I know that you know that you owe me money? Of course I know you owe me money. Of course I know you know. For the sake of the friendship, I'm almost tempted to say, forget about it. You don't owe me a, a nickel. Oh, okay, fine then. I'm almost tempted to do that. Eh, that, that, that seems too much of a gesture. I thought you were a Jew, but he takes it to the next level. He's like the gift shop at the Holocaust Museum. <laughs>